Okay, well, let's let's turn this into a, a nice guide on setting up Tag Manager in Divi for the other goal members as well. Okay, step one, share screen, Ali, and we'll get that up, and then I'll talk you through how to get this done. There's a plus somewhere here. Share screen, there we go. That's it, yeah, green button. Yep. There you are. Cool, so the tabs that we'll need open, we will need uh, AdWords, we will need your website, and we will need Google Tag Manager. So if you get those three opened up. I will get my, I did go pro with the um, DBL. Mm -hmm. Figured it was a good thing to be grandfathered. I can always cut back if I need to, but. Yeah. Well learning everything yeah um, i'm starting to get stuck in myself i think it's definitely 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 worth it if, if you're serious about building an sfm affiliate business yeah. yeah i mean you know it's it's definitely a part of what i'm doing um you know i i my passion is really you know webinars and talking with people and being out there but the affiliate marketing has has really shown me how to do that you know i've just used i really need to focus yeah. on you know, finances. So that's what I'm doing, but it's, it's allowing me to have, you know, subscribers and people to talk to anyway. So it's just really been great. Definitely. And the beauty of it, I mean, whatever you end up creating and whatever you, however you deliver value to the, the, the people that you do, it's entirely up to you. I mean, most of the stuff I focus on at the moment is um, besides the, the gold stuff that I'm doing now as well, but most of it is just webinars, connecting with people, training, like, facebook community stuff through my group um right. so yeah it's all about people yeah um cool so yeah if you also just open a new tab and just type google tag manager and then the first thing that pops up in google um should be the tag manager link hmm yeah. Um, first organic one. If you go to google.com forward slash analytics forward slash tag manager, that's it. And then top menu, uh, top right hand corner, you'll see the drop down for sign in. So click that and then select tag manager. Pictures are okay. That's it. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. So um, your container so if the first again for this training video um the first time that you do this it's probably going to ask you to fill in a couple of details about your website and to name your container um which ali you've done already um once you've done that you should either get to this screen or it'll just take you to the next step so ali if you click the um the, the website name that's it there we go um so go on to admin tap on the top right Mm -hmm. well, top left, I guess. Um, and then click on to install Google Tag Manager. There you go. And now go onto your website. Let's see. I thought I did that. Maybe tap just to the right. That's it. I didn't oh, oh, maybe one more. One more to the right. Dashboard. Oh, there we go. Okay. And there it is. And now bottom left hand corner, you should see the Divi menu. You might scroll down. Yeah. Um, there it is. And then go to theme options. And then integration tab. Purple tab along the top. And scroll down. And then back to tag manager. Uh, tab, tab just to the right. That's it. Copy that. Cool. And then back to Divi. And then let's just expand that. See in the bottom right-hand corner of that box, you've got the little drag down. Yeah, just so we can see what's in there because that tag ID, just drag it down a bit more so we can see. Okay. Maybe what I did with Landria. Okay, so let's, um, do you want me to, so this isn't working at the moment though, what you've done with Landria. Um, it still was showing that I needed to set up analytics. Like when I click on the tag up at the top here, yeah. It was not showing all green or yellow. There was one red. Okay. Well, let's, let's just make sure that it's working correctly then. Okay. So if you replace, just replace all of that with uh, what we've just copied. 
All right, cool. And then uh, in the body bit below, so back to Tag Manager, and then you want to paste the bottom code into the body bit there. And then click Save Changes. Cool. So that means that the container for the tag is now published across your whole website. So we, we never need to do this bit again. You don't ever need to add codes to your website like you've done now because you can do everything through Tag Manager. So think of this like this holds all your tracking codes and stuff. And it is, it's within Tag Manager that you can control what happens with them all. So if you go back to Tag Manager, and then let's click the workspace tab in the top left. And then click new tag. And then tag configuration. And then AdWords conversion tracking, third one down. Okay, now click onto AdWords, uh, first tab on your Chrome browser, top left. Let's see, it's this one, right? This is the old AdWords. I also have a tab if you want the new AdWords too. Okay, for the purpose of this training, let's do new AdWords, um, purely because everyone should uh, hopefully be moving across to there um, over time. So it probably makes sense to do it on the new AdWords. And then when it loads, you should see in the top oh, okay. right. Uh, right. Sorry. It's gonna be the old one. I have two. I have two options. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old and new. <laughs> Old and new. Got it. <laughs> yeah. That's the new. All right. Yeah. So. Is that the old or the new? That's the old one. That's the old one. If you just click the settings thing, there should be an option just to say, take me to the new dashboard, the little settings cog in the top right. Okay. Let me go. Oh. Yep. Um, the settings cog. Okay. Uh, yeah. Try the faster AdWords top option. That's it. Okay. That's more like it. <laughs> For you, not me, Dan. <laughs> Say that again. It's, it's more like it for you, not me. I'm, I'm in the old one more often with Landria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, rec I'd recommend uh, switching sooner rather than later because it's a okay. lot better, a lot quicker. Um, okay. And it's just like a learning curve. You know, once you're used to the new one, it's the new one's a million times easier. Um, <clears throat> click the spanner in the top right-hand corner. The which one? Uh, the little spanner that you were just hovering on. I don't know what a spanner is, Dan. <laughs> uh, the thing, uh, the thing for not this, that's it. There you go. <clears throat> that's the one. Maybe that's a British thing. I don't know. I and think then, it's, uh, yeah, it's a wrench. <laughs> a wrench. Okay. And then click on, um, click on to conversions tab under measurement. And then. If you have a conversion tracking code set up already, I think we so. See in a second. I think so. Okay, so that is SFM lead click. Which one did you set up most recently? I don't know. Okay. Um, I think I was following what you and Gav were doing up to the point I could, and then I. I think I tried it twice, so I'm not sure. I think it was um, the click that was the one with you and Gav. Okay, um, in that case, because we only need one of these. So let's just, uh, if you just put a little tick in the checkbox to the left of the click, um, let's delete that one. And then we're just gonna use SFM lead, but I'll configure it properly. So click the edit on the blue bar. So this, I'm, I'm getting rid of the most recent one then. Yeah, but it, I mean, it doesn't matter which, we can, we're just gonna customize the other. So just right. click edit on the blue bar and then delete. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was fine. Okay. okay, cool. So then dive into the SFM lead. So click the, the word, the, just click SFM lead. Okay, and then scroll down a touch and then edit settings. Okay, 
So, um, by the way, if anyone's watching this and you don't have one of these set up at all, you will see a big blue plus on the previous screen. It just You just click the plus and it will just add a new um, uh, conversion tracking code. So conversion name we called SFM lead. Category is lead. Value is don't use a value. Source, uh, click on source quickly. We should keep that as website, I believe. I just want to double check something. Click. Um... It's not letting you edit that. No, it didn't have a drop down beside okay. it. Leave it as website. Uh, one conversion is correct. Conversion window 90 days is correct. View through one week, correct. Included conversions, yep. And attribution model last click, yep. Click done. And scroll down. And then click that little, where it says tag for SFM lead. Click that to drop it down. And use Google Tag Manager. And then copy that conversion ID and go back to Tag Manager and pop it in there. And then go back to AdWords and copy the conversion label. Uh, missed a bit. Go make sure you get all of it. That won't work otherwise. That's it. And then pop that in there. <clears throat> and then conversion value zero. I think we can just leave it blank though. Oh. Okay. Uh, actually leave, leave, leave it blank because otherwise it will say zero all the time. We don't, okay. we don't need anything there. Um, auto ID, no currency code, don't need that. Click the drop down for conversion linking. True, yeah. Uh, advanced settings, click the drop down. Don't need to change the priority. Once per event, yep. Click tag sequencing drop down. Add uh, the tag sequencing drop down. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, don't need that. And then click on to triggering. So the little circle in the middle. That's it. And now we want to click the blue plus in the top right hand corner to add a new trigger. Click the circle in the middle. Page view. And then some page views. And then page host name, change that to page URL. And then contains, and then in the blank box to the right, what's your thank you page URL, Ali? Um, it's my website and then law of attraction. Do okay. So we make a suggestion for now. Um, we'll set it up as the forward slash law of attraction or whatever your thank you page URL is. Um, in the future, I will suggest using a standard format like, um, Actually, thank I'm sorry. Um, that's my landing page URL. Okay, cool. What's the thank you page? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay so let's uh i can look at my website though <laughs> yeah let's have a look on your website okay thank you that's, that's right uh next next tag to the right i think it's and the page it. yep and then it's um under slc plugins right uh if, it says, is it made through slc your thank you page yeah it is right now i'm waiting for convertry and i have one on divi but um i'm just waiting i've tweaked a few things so it's still through gotcha. SLC right now. You'll have to cool. do a webinar on how to do the convertry one after it's done. That's fine. So what we'll do then, what, what, so when I say use a standard template, if you make sure that all of your thank you pages for now, um, cause you see, you've got this welcome SFM yeah. slug on the end of what you're hovering over. Yeah. Um, if, if you want to use that fine, but make sure that all thank you pages you ever create, they, they are welcome SFM and then it might be dash two or dash three or dash four or whatever. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, if you go back to tag manager. Okay. Should I copy this? Uh, you don't, we well, can either copy it or type it. It's just welcome SFM. So it's one or the other. Uh, ju only just, just get the welcome SFM part. Oh, we don't need the whole okay. So it's just, okay. So I'll go back to tag manager. Uh-huh. 
and then the page URL contains. So what we're basically doing here is any page that has the, to the text that you're about to type in here, welcome SFM, any page that has that text in it, it's going to trigger this tag to fire. So what we're basically saying is um, every time someone hits your thank you page, which they can only get to if they've entered their email address, in other words, they're a lead, right? So nobody can get to the thank you page unless they're a lead. So it means when someone lands on that page, this tag goes fire. It goes, yeah, this is a conversion. This is a lead and it will add it in AdWords, right? So yeah, welcome SFM and then click the save in the top right. Okay, so I don't need a slash or anything like that. No, it's just saying any, any time um, that a page URL contains that text. Okay, so I'll just save it. Mm -hmm. uh, trigger name, call it uh, thank you page view. Yeah. Cool, firing triggers is the thank you page. Yep, uh, where it says untitled tag in the top left, just quickly highlight that and just change it to, um, add, just call it like AdWords conversion or something, just so we know what it is. <clears throat> and then save in the top right. That's it. And then the most important thing that you need to do is now that you've set that up, uh, you need to click submit in the top right. So this will basically um, publish the changes to your container, which is on your website. Okay. That container will then work and it will track every time somebody uh, uh, hits your thank you page. So you don't need to put anything in the um, version details. This is more for like corporates that want to track when they've made changes to the container. Like personally, I never bother. Just click publish in the top right. Uh, just click continue. There we go. Done. So I'm just going to quickly check your um, page myself. Um, so I'll tell you what, let me share. Let me go on and share my screen in a second. Uh, what was your website? Dr. Ali Falkingham. F A U L K I N G H A M dot net. Dot com. Dot net. net. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's four such welcome SFM was your thank you page, wasn't it? Yes. Do you want me to stop sharing or? Uh, it's okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to boot you off myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Done. <laughs> Right, so uh, I'm going to use, so there's a little Chrome extension called um, Tag Assistant. Um, just Google uh, Tag Assistant Chrome extension, install it, then enable it from your little Chrome menu it's thingy good. up there. Yeah, I think it sorry, is. Yeah. What, did, what did you say, sorry? I, I have the Tag Assistant um, on my Chrome already. Perfect. I just um, don't so know how to tell what it's saying. <laughs> Cool. So all, all we're doing here now um, is I've just enabled the tag assistant okay. and uh, I am now, I can see here that we've got yeah. AdWords conversion tracking, okay. which is working. So if you just go into your, your AdWords tab again, if you just come off my screen share, just double check that the, the tag, I'll tell you what, do you want to share screen so I can show people this? Sure. Um, let me stop my share. There you go. If you just do a quick screenshot, I just yeah. want to make sure that everyone's very clear on what we're doing here. Okay. There so I'm go. going to, um, going to AdWords. AdWords. Yep, I'm in AdWords. Uh, this is Tag Manager. Just going to AdWords in the top left. Yep. yep. Yeah. And that conversion ID. So I'm just going to cross reference that number with what the tag assistant is telling me. And my tag assistant says that number 82077602 is firing correctly. Yes. And that's the code that we've just added. Um, it's also saying that the tag manager global site tag is working correctly. And it's also saying that Google Analytics um, seems to be working correctly as well. So it might be that with Landry, you previously set this up as part of your container. It just hasn't yeah. been published to your website. All right. So everything now seems to be working correctly, which is great. And your conversion tracking will work within your AdWords campaigns. Yay. Way.